Hello, my wonderful Virgos. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys, okay? So I will be starting off with an oracle and we can just clarify the existing energies with tarot. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, guys, so we have two cards here. The first card that we have for you guys is unexpected. So surprise, unpredictable, shocking, unusual. Okay. And then we have between the lines, hidden meaning, um, speculate. Hmm. What's on the bottom of the deck here? Okay, interesting. So bottom of the deck here, guys, we have player, charming, manipulative, karmic, or being tested. Interesting. Okay, so Virgo, so far what I see here, guys, is like maybe there's something that happened that was very unexpected, obviously, with the first card. And you're kind of like reading in between the lines of something that was said or something that was done, right? Because between the lines also says hidden meaning. And, you know, I'm getting the vision of the hanged man, which is interesting because that's pretty much what that talks about. The hanged man is like either viewing things from a different perspective, having a shift in perspective or reading in between the lines of a situation. So you're digging beneath the surface at this time. And it could be because, again, something was very unexpected. Um, you know, you did not really see something occurring the way that it did. So let's see here. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. <clears throat> Split the deck and we have the Lovers. Some of you could be dealing with a Water Sign or a Gemini. So Virgo, what I see here, guys, is essentially like you feeling that either the way that you fell for this person or the way that the connection developed between the both of you was very unexpected. So it could have started, <clears throat> excuse me, it could have started off as like a crush energy, like someone expressing how they feel towards you and then you started to realize that the emotions were brewing or the connection became more intense with the lovers this may even be someone who feels like you are their soulmate let's see six of wands okay so they view you as uh you know very successful some of you could be um, in the public eye here bottom of the deck we have the five of cups and behind that we have the two of wands five of wands your person is feeling guarded after some sort of conflict okay so this is either a conflict with you or a conflict in their external environment because the five of wands could speak about like contradicting opinions or just feeling like you're in a very drama and chaotic uh, or drama filled or chaotic environment so with the five of cups and the two of wands here guys there's a major focus on the past or something that emotionally, um, you know, uh, hurt your person, right? They're thinking about the sorrow that's present in this connection. And with the two of wands, they are also focused on how it created distance between the both of you. Okay. So this is someone who could be watching you from afar or like, you know, they feel like they don't have much information about what you're up to, but they assume you're doing well with the six of wands. Let's see. Four of Swords, okay. So there may be silence here because they feel like you are healing, okay? You are currently, you know, working on yourself or you are healing from some sort of hurt that took place because the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords. So behind the Temperance, we have the Empress as well as the Six of Swords, okay? Wow. This person is very attracted to you, but they also hold you on a very high pedestal. There's something here about this person feeling like you're handling the situation in a very uh, composed, uh, classy manner. Like they don't feel like they're getting much from you in terms of like a reaction, you know, whether it's, you know, an aggressive reaction, an emotional reaction. They don't feel like they're getting much from you. Instead, you're kind of focusing on yourself. So what I see here is if something unexpected happened and you were able to figure out what, you know, some sort of something that was hidden or, or clarity was brought to the situation, you took that information but you're kind of going about it and just focusing on yourself they may have expected you to react differently or or be more worked up about something that came to light here 
but they feel like instead you're like spending more time alone or you're trying to heal. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, the Two of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. So what this person's unsure about is, is, you know, a new beginning. They want to offer you something stable, but they also fear your response. What's becoming very clear to your person is what did not work. But two of swords means there's still an energy of feeling like the, uh, when you think about the future of the connection, there's uncertainty. Okay. For others of you, this person, like something that could have been in the way is someone here accepting a new job offer. Pentacles could speak about like, you know, what's in the 3D realm and it could speak about finances. So this person may feel like, for example, if it was you that accepted a new job offer or, or you know, you had to make a, a decision for yourself, uh, for your stability, they could be unsure about what the future holds. Like they're wanting to do things differently or create a change between the both of you, but it's resulting in mental conflict because five of swords is when you feel like you're on a hamster wheel because you're going back and forth with yourself in your mind, but you're not necessarily coming to a solution. And the five of swords comes after the four of swords. So um, I feel like what that's letting me know is there's some sort of silence or an unexpected reaction from your end that is kind of, you know, making your person feel conflicted. Like what I'm persistently getting is they may have expected you to react to something in a very particular manner, but you did not. So like if they're used to getting a reaction from you or used to you wanting to speak about things that bother you this time around when you chose yourself or you chose silence, it kind of threw them off. That's the best way for me to explain it. page of cups yeah and you know the page of cups as much as it talks about uh you know like a love offer or someone crushing on you the fish in the cup there it represents something feeling very unpredictable and that's what your first card says so it's like you don't trust what this person tells you you may feel like they tell you things to kind of like butter you up but it's like do you mean what you say are you able to follow through on that the moon on the bottom of the deck with the six of cups What's hidden from you right now is your person is, is they're reminiscing. They are um, focusing on the positive memories that you guys have shared together and they still feel very connected to you. There's, there's missing, there's, there's longing. Um, what's the six of wands? Five of Swords, okay, and we also have the Devil that wanted to come out. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. This person could also be mentally conflicted about something that came to light to do with their like personal life, like whether it's like an unhealthy attachment, an addiction. Um, but the Devil could, of course, also be read as fears and illusions that they're having a hard time seeing past. What I see here is your person feels like you portray them in a different light than you once used to, but because you're not telling them how you portray them or because you're, maybe some of you are not speaking to them at all, they feel so conflicted. Like this person feels like it would be easier if they knew how you felt or if you would um, give them a reaction or speak to them, you know, that sort of thing. Like in an odd way, like this person's way of maybe making sure that you care um, could be if you react and when you don't react they just assume that you know Virgo's done and Virgo doesn't care because if they did then they would have you know did a b and c by now kind of thing they feel very connected to you but something also feels unhealthy you know with the devil here so what is the four of swords wow well that took a turn here two of cups and then we also have the ten of cups nine of wands yeah like your person's in a defensive energy two of cups ten of cups is someone who loves you you know someone who wants a commitment with you the next card is the ace of pentacles but it's almost like there's something here that needs to be released or they're working through an issue on their own in order to pursue a connection with you okay this is very specific but for some of you it could be that one of you had like overnight success or like you know, something happened here where it was more of a focus on work or finances and it became in the way of this connection. Like someone here could have felt neglected by that. 
like, you know, addictions could also be like work, you know, being, being like a workaholic or like, you know, always being consumed by, uh, you know, financial, uh, you know, needs or desires and that sort of thing, material things where it's like, okay, I want a commitment. I want to be with you, but you need to let go of, you know, the material things, or you need to actually make time for this connection in me as much as you make time for the other things. Right. But I do see that this person does love you with the two of cups and 10 of cups. I mean, that's, someone who feels like you emotionally fulfill them. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. We have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck here, which is another card of commitment, but it also speaks about um, like wisdom or like a higher knowing. So this person may feel like they met you for a reason. What is the Ace of Pentacles? Seven of Swords. It's very interesting here, Virgo, because like there's a, there are emotions here, but you don't trust this person's offer or you don't trust this person right now. It could be because of the devil here. Maybe you feel like there's something they need to let go of. There's They need to do something in a different manner and you don't believe that they have changed. Because Six of Cups, again, on the bottom of the deck, you have history with this person. You know this person very well, but you don't believe that they have made the necessary changes in order to attain stability with you. You may feel like, yeah, this person does desire me. They do desire a connection. But what are they doing to make that a reality? You know, it's great that they desire a connection, but, you know, they need to let go of, you know, what this may be or they need to be honest with me because Seven of Swords is very strategic behavior. It's someone, you know, either doing something behind your back um, or, you know, kind of keeping something away from you until they feel like they're ready to uh, let you know, which is obviously something that can rub you the wrong way. I feel like for many of you, you're wanting more from this person in terms of what changes have you made, right? Like you don't want this person to tell you the right things or tell you that they desire you when there's still something that, that they need to work through. Because what I will say plain and simple is you currently don't trust this individual. In no way am I saying you'll never trust them. But I mean, as of currently, you definitely don't trust their offer. You don't trust that this offer is um, stable or you feel like it's too good to be true. Like your person is offering you something like, you know, on a silver platter, like, here you go. We can have this and we can have that. But you feel like there's something else going on behind closed doors. And it's only a matter of time before you find out. Like there's a doubtful energy on your end about this offer that's coming in. Um, what's the page of cups? The four of cups in reverse. I do see your person possibly coming out of a very nonchalant behavior and that could be their uh, their way of proving to you like I do care. So for example, like in the past, they could have downplayed their emotions or they were someone who was very um, like you would question their interests, like they would tell you the right things, but their actions weren't, you know, lining up with what they were telling you. And so there was a lot of questioning. So with the four of cups in reverse, I see that your person is now accepting the reality of a situation and they're doing a lot of proving and their way of proving to you that they care is quite literally by not downplaying their emotions or not acting like okay this is not affecting me because clearly your silence is affecting them that's something that was a very repetitive download in the beginning of your spread so it's like this person may come come out and say okay well you know you're not speaking to me and it really is affecting me like this may be someone who was trying to operate from a space of ego or pride but now they're like okay i i can't do this any longer because clearly the fact that you're not reacting to what's going on is it's kind of shocking them or it's it's very unexpected for them. What's the devil? King of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, the fool, the eight of swords, and nine of wands. You know what the what the energy here or the 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 the, the blockage I would say? Uh the energy that I'm feeling is your person is deciding between, you know, stability, okay? And what they may need to let go of is being very in and out. You know, we have the Knight of Wands here, the Fool. So this person may feel like what affects the ability of the, for the both of you to come together is impulsive decision making. Like doing things that temporarily, uh, you know, satisfy them. Or, or, you know, like doing something because they were under the influence. Or just pretty much impulsive decisions. It can, it can happen differently for all of you. Of course, it's a general read. But I see that this person wants to be a provider. They want to be more, uh, you know, stable. They feel very attached to you also. Like there could be this energy of them like obsessing over the situation. Um, but let's see what the Ten of Cups is. The Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, for some of you, this person does feel like you are feeling very, you're starting to feel very burdened by this connection or you're choosing yourself. 
Nine of Pentacles is a very independent energy. You know, it's it's when someone is single. So when you have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, it's like the emotions may be there. There may be a desire for commitment, but you feel like the right thing to do is choose yourself because you don't trust this situation. So what's the blockage here? The lack of trust. It's like when this person speaks to you, you want to believe them, but you feel like I, I know you haven't changed or I know that you haven't made the necessary changes in order for us to have a successful outcome. Okay, so what is the Seven of Swords? I also feel like for some of you, you know, what may be unexpected is this person offering you something. So the ball may be in your court where you're like, oh, I don't know, like what you're saying sounds good, but like, is it something you can maintain? Or are you just telling me this to be in my good graces again? Um, what is the Seven of Swords? The Two of Wands. Yeah bottom of the deck here three of pentacles queen of pentacles okay so your person's doing a lot of planning you know this person may communicate with you and then wait for a sign from you but what i see with the two of wands here guys is like there's a lot of planning looking towards the future um but there is some sort of distance between the both of you right now and so even if this person's offering you something even if they're communicating with you you don't trust them and they sense that because something they sense between the both of you is emotional distance so like even if you're open to having a conversation with them, they don't know that you're buying what they're telling you or believing in, in what they're saying. Like they don't feel like you're convinced. What's the two of wands? The fool. Wow. I see this person like, you know, going after, you know, what they desire. I see them speaking to you because they're like, um, excitement or their um, desire for change is outweighing their fear or worry but like on your end it seems like you don't trust this offer right the tower the nine of swords like even if what what was unexpected occurred in the past you feel like it's going to happen again you know we have the devil as well as the seven of swords upright so you know they may mask this with an offer or they're offering you something but there's also something they're not expressing to you and you're aware of this what is the four of cups in reverse nine of cups okay and the death card for some of you it's it's an energy of maybe you feeling like this person is realizing things when it's too late so the death card could speak about an ending or it speaks about internal transformation like you realizing you know you don't want to feel stuck or you want to you know work on yourself and you're choosing yourself we have a nine of pentacles and the nine of cups so you're very focused on emotional fulfillment, pouring into your own cup right now, and you're really wanting something here to come to an end because you feel like it has hit it hit a dead end, but there is an inability to let go or accept an ending. So it's like, okay, an ending occurred, but we're not able to accept it because we, we both still have emotions here. But if you're not going to be honest with me, then it doesn't feel then then it's not realistic to think that we can, you know, move things to the next level. So what I see here on your person's end is, yeah, potentially someone who is going to offer you something, someone who wants to close that emotional gap between the both of you. They're wanting to prove to you that they care, but you may feel like it's a little too late or you still don't trust this person's intentions entirely. That's what I see. Okay. So my wonderful Virgos, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.